But anyway, to get back on ladder, um, we were playing Control Vanar. We were playing some Vespers. We'll play some Magmar. We'll play more of that Control Magmar that we just saw. Abyssian versus Magmar. So natural selection is not super good versus Abyssian because they're gonna have a lot of Wraithlings around. I typically want like Plasma Storm instead and Egg Morph to deal with those like key units like Shadow Dancer and stuff. And I guess we'll just keep better in Silithar because it puts in a lot of work. Oh, Venom Toth is great. Oh my God. When my opponent summons a minion, deal one to the enemy general. So I'm just going to set up Venom Toth. My opponent has to remove this before they can develop or they're just going to take a bunch of damage. Oh, it's Shadow Creep. Dark Spine Elemental has plus two, plus two for each of your Shadow Creep tiles. Natural Selection would have been great here. I'll take a defensive opening. Damn, I thought this ended already. No, we're still in it, Dimple. They extended the network test because the Kickstarter got funded in like six hours. And as a thank you, they extended this network test until the 7th. So get in there. Get, keep playing while the, get, while the getting's good. Give them that sweet, sweet matchup data. Any update on that shirt for Aikido being made? I made the art and he's currently using it as an emote. I told Aikido to hire an artist to kind of clean it up and make it nice for a shirt because I wouldn't have the time to actually put the, the time into it that I wanted. So, Juggernaut, when this damages an enemy minion, create a Shadow Creep tile on that space. I'm probably going to have to Egg Morph this. The rest of my hand is pretty good, actually. How do I want to play this? I can just clear the Abyssal Crawler with my General and have... Um, my Venom Toth kill the egg here. The Venom Toth is kind of just there to be annoying. I don't actually care if my opponent kills it here. Oh, misplay. I should have positioned here. I forgot that this was going to get buffed to a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, damn, and they got the Spectral Blade. Yeah, big misplay by me letting the Dark Spine Elemental get a free hit here. I could stand on the creep with my general and backline the Toth, but because this isn't Swarm Abyssian, the Toth isn't going to get as much value as I really care for. And if I backline the Toth, then I'm going to be tanking a ton of damage with my general, which I don't care for. Oh, cool. They use Blood Tier Alchemist to kill their own guy to make this a 5-3. Uh, a, uh, That's snazzy. That's very impressive. Wow. Very, very strong. So I have my play. I can back up, do some healing. I've got War Beasts coming up, so I can fight back. If I play Rejuvenate, let me see. If I walk here, then play my unit here to block the Elemental, there could be like Punch plus Ping or uh, Demonic Lure. Veteran Silithar is not that good for me, I don't think. Flash War Beast. The War Beast would die anyway because of like Shadow Creep and stuff. I think I just flash War Beast here. Just clear all of this right now. And I'm going to get cheeky here and I'm going to swing on my opponent to break their Spectral Blade. I lose the trade because they deal more damage in response. But I think it's worth. And now my opponent's just going to start summoning big stuff, start setting up for, like, Shadow Nova. Yeah, Shadow Nova is a 7-mana spell, but with uh, Mana Forger, they can Shadow Nova on 2. They can, uh, and this is going to get hyper-buffed by Shadow Nova, so I have to remove this. Very, very bad for me. I need, like, another Egg Morph. Earth Sphere, God. And this deals damage at the... Uh, end of the owner's turn. So I'm just going to try to body block here, I think, as best I can. And we'll deal one to this so that it tries to trade one for one. Yes, Shadow Creep deals more damage based on the number. So if they Shadow Nova here, I'll take six damage. 
Yo, what's up, Faroka? Welcome in, my friend. Bone Reaper. Woo! All right, not so bad. Not so bad. I this actually protects the Bone Reaper from natural selection. A plasma swarm would be nice here. We've actually we've also got a really really nice war beast here to clear the dark spine elemental. I could walk here and clear the mana forger as well, but my opponent's already going on to seven, so it doesn't matter. It's better to just keep this threat off of me, I think. Hmm. Technically, the war beast would die to the bone reaper's damage. So I am gonna go ahead and clear all three things. Really great way to play around War Beast though by using the Shadow Creep to uh to clean it up. Yeah, we get the follow from Lucky Lenny. Thank you and welcome in Lucky. And now I can natural selection, but that was all my mana. Sad days. Um, we trade this in, of course, because it's gonna die to Bone Reaper anyway. And then we'll chill. Really unfortunate to not get like a plasma storm there. Because I could have maybe gone like plasma storm body block. They haven't played Shadow Nova yet. Things are getting pretty dicey. They're looking for it. Okay, so they didn't get Shadow Nova yet. What the? I thought this was standing on a Shadow Creep tile. There we go. Eh, whatever. I'm glad this game is back. Let's hope they can keep the love going. This game deserves more attention. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, we could have Zen Rui'd it. Oh, we can Zen Rui this. That's very cute. And then run away. The problem is that I can't run away i have to i have to keep the uh i have to keep the value up um so i'm gonna replace one natural selection i think Ugh. we definitely zen rui this but there's no way to do it that plays around uh <laughs> shadow nova right so i guess we zen rui like this and then i run this way just summon a two three So Zenri should not be in the same two by two of other units. Yeah, I'm going to try to play around and minimize Shadow Nova as much as possible. Because if Shadow Nova is just dealing face damage and not clearing your board, then it's, uh, it's a pretty strong uh, outcome for you. And I've got some healing with Earth Sphere, Emerald Rejuvenator, Mystic. I can buy myself a few turns. Because they've only, they're only running three Shadow Nova. Maybe only two Shadow Nova, depending. I've got Earth Sphere to deal with Juggernaut or their next Dark Spine. Night Sorrow! Yikes! I guess that's fine. That wasn't my Bone Reaper. There's the Juggernaut. Ooh, nice hit. So this, um, when this damages an enemy, create a Shadow Creep tile on that space. Oh, wow, 100 bits from Captain Frost, the mighty Captain Frost. Feels like 2019 again, bro. Welcome in. Thank you so much for those bits. Awesome, awesome. Really good to see you, my friend. Oh, I think we got to just egg morph this. And then I can pop the egg and young Silithar can kill this 3-1. If I've got this young Silithar in play, it's really hard for me to cast the natural selection, so I'm going to replace it. I'll step here. Um, young Silithar clears there and just becomes an egg. Um, did I goof? I guess I kind of goofed. I guess I can do that. Now my opponent has cornered themselves, so we might be able to get some pressure here. There's Shadow Nova. So we take six. And they ping the egg. So Healing Mystic dies. So now we can... I can run Zen Rui over here to be in a bit more of a threatening position. Then it'll just die, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to play Emerald Rejuvenator. And... Um, Veteran Silithar, and then I'm going to run this way. Keep the Earth Sphere. Blood Tier Alchemist could translate to lethal for me. Right now we're threatening 8 damage, 9 damage. Not quite enough. 
I've only played one War Beast. No, I've played two War Beasts. I have a third in here somewhere. Blood Tear lets me uh, combo with Egg Morph. <sighs> I think I've got to replace Veteran Silthar. Oh, Mind Steel. Okay. Now we're cooking, chat. I can't step up. It is a bit heavy for Abyssian to run Shadow Nova and Spectral Revenant, but I don't think they're going to be able to. Oh, that's so good. Dark Terminus uh, kills a minion and summons a Wraithling on its space, so we don't get the egg. The Wraithling overwrites it. What rank are you? Um, I, I'm not sure what rank, honestly. I haven't been paying attention. I don't want to mind steal just yet. Um, I'm just going to Earth Sphere, keep running away. We can, hmm. I think I'm going to do uh, Blood Tear, Alchemist, Young Silithar. Then I can uh, clear here. Then Zen Rui can move here. My opponent's going to try to just, like, move into this patch of brambles where I can't fight them. I'm at 22. So I'm feeling pretty good now. I wanted to cast the Earth Sphere, which is why I didn't mind steal. Ooh, nice. Bone Reaper. Wow. Really good play. The reason people don't play Bone uh, play Bone Reaper is because Zen Rui exists. Which I can just do. Natural Selection is also pretty strong. I think Zen Rui and Veteran Silithar is probably my answer though. Because I can do Veteran Silithar here, then Zen Rui here, and that clears the Night Sorrow Assassin. I'm going to step one away. Again, to minimize Shadow Nova dealing face damage and also clearing my board. We replace Plasma? Yeah, we don't need it this late in the game. What are they going to summon that I want a Plasma? You know what I mean? I guess it hits Juggernaut. Rip Dark Terminus. Um... By Plasma Storm, it clears this, this, and my Bone Reaper so that I get four damage. I think I just want to Ephemeral Shroud, the Juggernaut. It also hits the space under it so they have one less Shadow Creep tile. Healing Mystic for more healing. I think we're just going to grind them into the dust, chat, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Um, we can Mind Steal. Yeah, we can Mind Steal. We'll, uh, we'll play out the Ephemeral Shroud and the Mystic. And then we'll mind steal. Nova plus Bone Reaper kills the Juggernaut. Opponent will die of fatigue. <laughs> okay. I'll mind steal now just because it gives me mana for Shadow Nova. If they have it in hand. They've got Reaper of the Nine Moods. Oh my god, that's so filthy. Oh my god, I can't. So we're gonna we're gonna dispel that. Summon Reaper of the Nine Moons. If they've got Reaper of the Nine Moons, then I should actually stay nearby. When this dies, it teleports the enemy general to the space that it died on. So if my opponent has like ritual banishing or a self-kill effect, they can suck me in with their own Reaper of the Nine Moons. I guess it's fine. They have their own ephemeral shroud. Yeah, so they get re they get moved and then they just move walk back down into the corner. The Reaper as flying should have been summoned further. Yeah, that's true. I wanted it. They had Ephemeral Shroud though, so I wanted to just keep it close in case it got dispelled because it's just a six three. So now I have my opponent's hand. My Bone Reaper is dispelled, and if I replace into um like a Plasma Storm here, I'll just wipe their Bone Reaper. Yeah, they they changed uh Reaper of the Nine Reaper of the Nine Moons. 
to uh it, they, what this used to do is it used to summon a random minion from your opponent's deck on the space where it died rust crawler not what i'm looking for this is one of mine i have a, i have healing though i might be misplaying by not like actually going in with my threats so I could swing here and then play my own Bone Reaper. Because this is going to die anyway. Yeah, so I just... I can't kill this, so I'm just going to swing. Then play my own Bone Reaper. I guess we can attack that. Um, I'll get a bit closer. I should have played Venom Toth and then moved so that they can't Nova to kill it. Now, if, as my opponent summons things, they'll they'll start taking damage. We got some interesting utility from the opponent, but we didn't steal a Nova. I should have played Toth and then moved, so that way it's separated from me by Nova. We still got tons of healing, though. Demonic Lure. Is that move any? No, it's moving my Reaper out of the way. Into the Nova. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I could have saved Venom Toth. How much do I take? Ten. Jesus. <laughs> so we're just we're just gonna top ourselves off again. We have Rust Crawler to counter their Spectral Blade, which we know they have. This is a silly game. <laughs> this is a very this is this game has uh, gotten pretty silly. Oh, the dark spine. Okay. Yeah, and the Reaper of the Nine Moons. How many cards do I have in the in the deck? My opponent has six cards left in their deck, and I have um ten cards left in my deck. The uh, number of cards left in deck is here. Ten out of forty. Uh, and we have Hearthstone style fatigue. I've only seen it like once that a game actually ends before fatigue. The issue here is that Reaper of the Nine Moons has flying, so it's going to like hit me no matter what. War Beast. So if I War Beast to clear the Reaper of the Nine Moons, my general gets teleported over here, so I get out of danger. Hang on a second, chat. McCanter, Jesus. Save me! All of my sins are forgiven! Yes! <laughs> We're out of jail, baby! Okay. Don't stand on the creep. We play the uh, Healing Goo Mystic. Bogarino! <laughs> okay. And this is not a shadow creep tile. We cleansed this earlier with an ephemeral shroud. The mechanter is theoretically safe. And now I'm within spinning distance of my opponent because they're in the corner. No! Not demonic lore! No, come back! Dark spine. There's the spectral blade. All right, so I've got Plasma Storm, which clears the Bone Reaper. And Bone Reaper op dying opens up my Mechanter. So that's four. And then Spectral Blade is eight. I need four more damage. I've got Ephemeral Shroud. He misplayed. We have Frenzy. Yeah, if we attack the Bone Reaper, we wipe all of this. So. I play, I play Rust Crawler here. I play Venom Toth here. I frenzy. I step away from my 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 son, and then we ephemeral shroud this thing, and then we blood tear alchemist you in the face. Everything is spread out. Everything is happy. 
I think I should replace Plasma there, but now I just don't know. My opponent has four cards left. One of those cards is a Shadow Nova, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> okay, we take 14 here? 13. I actually drew all the healing out of my deck and sustained through this nonsense. Venom Toth. Three, four. All right, we don't need Plasma Storm anymore. We play Emerald Rejuvenator 100%. That's all three of their Shadow Novas as well. So now we aren't in danger of burst damage. So now we can actually gap close. We only need to worry about Spectral Revenant. <laughs> That's the card we got to worry about, chat. So we play Emerald Rejuvenator here. Rust Crawler just hits. We'll equip this thing. Play Young Silithar here. Did I? Unbelievable. We just, you'll never see this again, chat. This is a game of Duelist going to fatigue, and I survived Triple Shadow Nova. This is a statistically impossible game. This is the only time this has ever happened in all the history of Duelist 1 and Duelist 2. So this deck is a fatigue deck? Um, it's not meant necessarily to be a fatigue deck. It's more of a counter and outlast. And then your opponent kind of eventually dies because they run out of resources. And then they die to like veteran Silithar and Mechanter Warbeast and stuff like that. It's a control deck in like the classic sense. So fatigue. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> No, nah, it's, it's, it's hyper slow value. It's totally different, chat. Pyromancer. So the way Blast works is that when you attack something, you attack everything in a straight line with that target. So I'm going to take center and use Blood Tear Alchemist to deal one damage to ping this. And then say go. I'm summoning the Blood Tier Alchemist here in a really defensive greedy spot rather than just uh, gobbling up this mana to slow down my opponent because I need this alive as a way to help me trade. So Blast doesn't trigger on range units anymore? I didn't know that. I wonder if Magmar has any useful 5 beta cards for this matchup. I know a couple. <laughs> hmm. So... Summoning also counts dervishes, so technically I could just let this rock, run away from it, play Venom Toth. I'll save the Blood Tier Alchemist because they showed me Pyromancer already. So, and Obelisk plus Pyro usually doesn't mean artifacts, so I can replace the Rust Crawler. Oh. I could ramp to War Beast here if I really wanted to. But, eh. It's not the worst play in the world. They just clean the War Beast up, though. I'll save the War Beast for when it's, like, way more devastating, I think. This is... This here, I think, is the slowest, greediest line I can take. Oh, Siphon Energy, bruh. Yeah, Blast doesn't counterattack when he gets hit by a ranged unit, but ranged units do counterattack when they get blasted. Oh my god, Sand Howler, that's so good. Okay, this is a Plasma Storm. <laughs> this is a Plasma Storm. It's just a passive. Nearby enemies have minus one. This is like a 3-4. If I move by Venom Tothin and try to trade one for one, it becomes a 2-3 and I don't get the trade. I guess I could just trade in Blood Tier and save my Plasma Storm for when I really need it? Question mark? Bad positioning on the Blood Tier here, actually. I maybe could have put it in the center or back here to kind of keep it away from the Dervishes, but... 
you have to hedge your bet. Your you have to hedge your bets when it comes to dervishes. It spawns on an open tile around the obelisk, so it could go here and be useless. Go here and can't reach anything, or here can't reach anything. So this is just a nice middle. But they didn't get here, here, or here. But yeah, the Venom Toth is hilarious. Every time a oh, I forgot. Windstorm obelisk lets the dervish move a different an additional space. Oh my. So, um, Dunecasters buff a Dervish permanently plus two plus two and also makes it so it doesn't disappear at the end of the turn. Very, very good uh, anti-war beast positioning here, by the way. I'm not damaging their face. I'm only uh, removing uh, stuff. And I can't finish off the obelisk. It's got to be Plasma here, if I'm being honest. I guess it depends on how low I want to dip. Oh, Natural Selection, okay. Because if I, if I summon the Mechanter War Beast and then move it around to clear this AoE, then it's body blocking me from dealing the final two damage to this Obelisk. If I keep Venom Toth alive, though, then the Dervishes um, ping my opponent. Hmm. I'm going to... I'm going to actually do this because it leads us to lives of 4-4, which has to be dealt with. And I think I'm just going to um, try to hedge my bets here versus the obelisks. With the Windstorm obelisk, this, this is like always going to be able to reach me though. But we'll see. Like the Phantom Toth dealing damage... Pressuring my opponent from developing Swarm against me is pretty nice. I have Buku healing. I just have to hit it. So I'm going to take a big risk here, dropping down to 10. Uh, my opponent could Star's Fury. So I would take 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. It'd be lethal if they have Star's Fury here. We're dead a lot of the time. But if I just pla if I just trade Plasma Storm, then I just do nothing. I'm still at 10 HP. And then my opponent gets a full turn to redevelop. And then I'm kind of on the back foot constantly. This is me taking a big gambit of forcing my opponent to respond to my threat rather than smorking me. And it looks like it's paying off. Oh yeah, baby. Fountain of Youth. Transform a minion into a copy of itself. So they healed this obelisk by doing that. Um... I can egg morph the Amara, ping it, keep running into the corner to save my skin. Still running out of, uh, <laughs> I'm still running out of, uh, the means here. Yes, Fountain of Youth undoes Dispel. It transforms the unit into a fresh copy of itself. New Windstorm Obelisk is very good. Having the extra movement space means that the threat potential of every Obelisk is, is amplified. Yeah, if they have um, Star's Fury plus Fireblaze Obelisk, we die. Or Star's Fury plus... Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff they kill us with here. We, we, hit, we didn't hit our healing this game. They didn't go face again. Okay. Now we just got to hit some healing chat. It's it's all it's a okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. We weathered the storm chat. Extremely rewarded by taking the greediest Mechanter Warbeast play of all time and not getting punished by Star's Fury. Now I'm getting my healing? It's curtains, chat! And also, we're playing the, the anti Star's Fury conga line here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. And I've got Egg War for the next Amara healer.
I haven't played an Emerald Rejuvenator yet, have I? Things are about to get weird, chat. That's what I mean, right? Like, my opponent didn't play super aggressively in my face. They were just relying on the Obelisk to do their work. Another Dune Caster. Like, Duelist has potential for some, like, actual nonsense comebacks. If your opponent doesn't press their advantage properly and gives you room, it's over. I have two more Mystics, a full set of Emerald Rejuvenators. My opponent's playing into War Beast. But I mean, playing around Mechanter War Beast is actually not possible. Hang on. Star's Fury is two, four, six, three, six, nine. Yeah, there's no way. And then I have Mickey, I have Jesus number three to just finish deal the finishing blow. There's the Star's Fury. The card that would have killed me. Should Warbeast have like some sort of like nerfed rush where it can only move one space instead of two? I don't know. This is a game where it doesn't matter, but Warbeast maybe could be a 4-3. It matters very little, but it's just a way to say that, yeah, we nerfed this card. Third Dune Caster. Ooh, I'm, that actually body blocks me in. But it doesn't matter. <sighs> I... Mechanter Warbeast could maybe be seven, like no lie. 